Hi Hunter, I'm just going to do this video as a bit of a verbal discussion about what the solutions are here. But um, if you want me to do written out solutions where I explain as I write them out, just let me know and I'll do that as well for you. Really quickly then, a few things are going on. First of all, cos theta is equal to 0.69 and we're told that theta is an acute angle between 0 and 90. So, so, cos th so theta is somewhere in here, which means that 180 minus theta would be, well there's 180 all the way across to here. And then we're going to go back theta here. So 180 minus theta is going to be in this quadrant here. And this is really important because knowing which quadrant the angle is going to um, land in is our key to solving this problem. And we can see it's going to land in this quadrant where sine is positive. So using our understanding of cast, we can say that sine of 180 minus theta is the same as sine theta. And it's going to be positive sine theta because it's in this quadrant here. If it ended up in one of these quadrants and it was sine, then we would say it's equal to negative. Okay, so we've got that first of all, we've got it equal to sine theta. Now there is a trig identity called uh, the uh, Pythagorean trig identity. It's sine squared plus cos squared equals one. And so you can see this thing here is a rearrangement of it. So we've got one, Mine one squared minus cos of theta, which is 0.69 squared, would give us sine squared, and then they've square rooted it, okay, to get sine. So we've got sine of 180 minus theta is the same as sine of theta, which is equal to the square root of one squared minus 0.69 squared. So one squared, well, don't worry about the square, one minus cos squared theta, 0.69 squared, and then the calculation gets you to 0.724. This one here, cos 2 pi minus theta, you know, they've put it in terms of radians, but it's no dramas. We know that 2 pi is 360. So that means that we're going to go all the way around to 360, and then we're going to go back theta. So we've got an angle of theta here, and it's landed in this um, quadrant here, where cosine is positive based on our cast diagram. So cos of 2 pi minus theta is the same as cos of theta and it's positive cos theta because it's in this quadrant, and therefore it's just equal to 0.69. For tan pi plus theta, again, we're going all the way around to pi, or 180 degrees, plus another angle of theta, and so we end up with our angle being in here. Ignore what's going on here in the diagram. Just use the trig identity, that tan equals sine on cos, and we know tan has to be positive to end with because it's in this quadrant, it's landing in this quadrant, Sine is 0.724, cosine is 0.69, and so if we divide that one by that one, we get 1.049. And that's how we do it. How did I know about the Pythagorean identity and that tan equals sine on cos? Well, it's because we um, it's on your formula sheet, it's on your information booklet. So check those out to make sure you can identify where they are. So it's using those identities plus our knowledge of where the angle's um, falling so that we can work out whether the result's going to be positive or negative. Again, if this is not enough of a hint for you to get going, just let me know and I'll do a proper full solution for you.